was kind of fun. Okay, now to open up the treasure chest. You found the red key! Cutscene. Mike, a funny shifted key. Very cool. Francis, dot, dot, dot. Johnny, are you still worried about the trap? Mike, come on, Francis, chillax a little more. Francis is not happy. Tell me once more to chillax, and I swear I'll kick your balls out of your mouth. When was this game made? I mean, I seriously, <laughs> holy guacamole and chillax? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Francis also says, and by the way, what does chillax mean? Oh my god. <laughs> Mike, it means that you have to chill out and relax. There are no traps, see? And then a dragon and a giant mouse thing appears. Francis, yes, I was right. <laughs> Nigel, and we are dead. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Okay. Skill, magic missile on the fucking dragon thing. So the dragon is protecting whatever the mouse thing is. Well, this mouse thing is the spellcaster. Oh, that fucking hurt. No, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Uh, good, you go before any of them. fun. Nigel, awesome, we beat the dragon! Francis, and a dungeon. Whatever it was. Mike, I think I've pooped myself. Yes, Mike actually said that. Okay, I'm ready to put that on you, and that on you. Now to go back to the beginning of the basement and use that key. And I got to the battle. Which is easily taken care of. Okay, time to use the red key. They oh, use the key and they walk into the room and it looks like space in the room. Like legit just space. Nigel, what is this place? Mike, this doesn't look like the Game Master's playroom. Johnny, Benjamin, are you there? Francis, I don't think the Game Master will answer. What the fuck? And now they're being teleported from location to location. Like they're teleported to Japan, they're teleported to the North Pole. They're teleported to, uh, I guess a D&D &D game room in some guy's little place. Masked guy says, okay, so you finally enter the treasure room, but a big red dragon is waiting for you, ready to attack with its deadly breath. DK, do you know what they just referenced right there? Uh, not really. The Hobbit. Oh. Big red dragon in a treasure room. If anyone's yeah, ever... Actually describes a lot of dragons, though. Yeah, but this the next bit will actually hint as to what it is. Uh, cloaked figure gets an idea. Crap. Okay, I cast an invisibility spell on myself to try to sneak behind it. The group pops in. Nigel says, "Don't do that. Dragons can smell invisible creatures." Yeah, that's definitely not. <laughs> cloaked figure, really? Mask guy, who the hell were they? <laughs> now 
them on chapter two. Now they appear in some sort of like medieval room with a archaic circle that is actually the Star David inside a circle. And there's four crystals. Nigel says, where are we? Mike says, oh crap, we are naked. Uh, a jester says, I can't believe it, the experiment worked. Some sort of like soldier guy, yes, it worked, I don't know how, but everything went well. Uh, he's supposed to be a priest, so my presence here is no longer required. Uh, the, the guard guy, yes, priest, thank you very much. Your holy words and prayers helped us all. Johnny, wait a sec, what's going on? Uh, random mage guy. Huh? Got kidnapped by weirdos. Yeah. Uh, mage one says, excuse me, but aren't they supposed to be five, like, legendary five rangers of power? I think DK should do very well with that's referencing. Uh. <laughs> uh, Francis says five. Have you seen Benjamin? Johnny says he is our game master. Uh, guard says, well, yeah, they should have been five, but even four is okay. After all, there were the four incredible ninja mutants. Do you know what that's referencing, DK? Let's see. Michelangelo, Raphael, Leonardo... <laughs> Donatello. Thank you. I never can remember his name, and that's the one I played most on the Nintendo game. <laughs> the Jester. Yes, he is right. We should thank Destiny for these four living heroes. Nigel. Heroes? Us? Francis. Living? Ugh. Uh, Jester. Yes, you are heroes, since you survived traveling across the mystical portal that qualifies you as a hero as heroes. Nigel, awesome! Mike, cool. Johnny, good. Francis, wait, wait, wait. First of all, what's going on? Guard guy, we understand your concern. The king will explain everything to you. Jester, to the king! Okay, so if you talk to the guards and stuff, they'll like tease you and say you have to go to the king first. Uh, this one says you should meet the king and buy some clothes. This one... Okay, this one says good day to you, streaker heroes. <laughs> uh, you talk to this mage guy. It says if you really want to impress a lady, you should use an enlarging spell. This priestess, I guess, oh. says nice butt. This mage says, I see wiener. That's how I'm going to call you. This other chick, you should find some clothes before you catch a cold. Let's see, and there's more knights here. King first. Something about online pass. King first. Okay, this one says, I can't allow you to go downstairs like that. You are naked. Uh, this one says, good day, streaker heroes. Okay, summoning heroes is not an easy task. Most of the time they don't make it through the portal. That's why we always keep a priest around us. Uh, this one says, I can see your heroic, heroic wiener. That's very heroic. <laughs> and this one says, wow, a hero's wiener. They you haven't even done anything <laughs> yet. Stop calling them heroes. <laughs> exactly. The Jester says, hurry up. <laughs> I hate it when anime does that. Oh, you're the new hero of our town. Please go save us. Okay, now here, here's the best scene. The king says, are those fellows the five heroes? The jester says, well, yes, your majesty, but they are only four. King, I see. Queen, they do not look like a han as handsome as the last heroes we had. And they are half naked. Well, no, they are naked. Or, well, they're wearing boxers. <laughs> uh, just here. Well, yeah, maybe they don't look like much, but they survived the journey across the portal, and this qualifies them as heroes. Francis, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we don't have a clue of what you are talking about. Where are we? Who are you? King, I am King MacGuffin, and this is my castle. You have been summoned to help us against our eternal enemy, the Unnamed. Mike, Unnamed? Cool name! King, a name is not his name since his real name has uh, his real name was cursed by Destiny himself. 
Nigel, awesome, but what is his real name? King, I can it cannot be pronounced since it was cursed. Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, oh, shoot, okay. So, the part that it skipped, didn't let me, like, click through was Nigel is talking about trying to figure out the name and Mike's going to join him. Uh, Johnny, what, but what has he done in order to become, or to become your number one enemy? King, who knows? Johnny, what? Uh, night guy from before. You see, Destiny always selected some heroes able to stop the unnamed long before he could do anything evil. King, so we've never known what unnamed was up to. Queen, but since you are the heroes now, you will be the ones to stop him. Nigel, or not Nigel, uh, Francis. But why us? We are not heroes. Jester, yes you are. Uh, <laughs> Nigel said, Lord McDouche. Francis says, no we're not. Johnny joins in. Hank? Jester, but you were chosen, even if by pure chance. Francis, pardon? Uh, guard guy. Well, you see, in troubled times, Dustin himself pronounced a pro prophecy which picks up the hero who will save us all. Jester, but this time, even if unnamed is up to something, Destiny has made no prophecy. Knight, so this time, we act on our own initiative and decide to choose five heroes by pure chance, and we just hoped for the best. So instead of waiting for this Destiny person to summon somebody to help, they went ahead and did it on their own. Own for no reason. Oh come on, you all know unnamed has destiny all tied up in the bedroom. You know that, right? <laughs> uh, Francis, what? That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. King, but uh, indeed, but crazy times require crazy solutions. There is nothing going on. You literally have no idea what unnamed is up to, and you're going and summoning people from other worlds to your world. World, that is so stupid. At least. Kyo Karamal had a, a a reason to summon uh, Yuri. Yep. To the toilet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I remember that anime. I never got to finish that one. I finished it and I have the first DVD. I'm pissed that I never was able to buy the rest. Oh, I'm so jealous. Uh, anyways, Francis says, that's great. I wonder why you did not select someone more apt. I don't know, someone like Chuck Norris. Or Bruce oh Campbell. <laughs> Why does Chuck Norris always get a cameo somewhere? Okay, it was Walker, Texas Ranger, so the fuck what? His standalone movies kinda suck. The only thing I liked him in was Walker. I, I mean, I have one of his movies, and it, it just really sucks. I'm gonna continue on. King, but do not worry, Destiny will help us all. Uh, night guy. Yes, once you will complete your first quest, he will make you like heroes. Francis, wait, he? Is Destiny a person? Jester, well, of course! He is our emperor, ruler of this world! King, hail to thee, O Destiny! Uh, okay, so Nigel's saying that the evil guy's name has to be more evil, like, dark evil. Uh, Francis says, oh boy, this place is way out of my league. Uh, Johnny says, Hank, evil Hank. Uh, Mike says, enough of the Hank. King says, now, no more delays. I let the evil wizard Orcus... He let an evil wizard kidnap his daughter Zoe. His lair is hidden far east near a lake. Go there, defeat the evil Orcus, save my daughter, and become real heroes. Jester. Yes, your majesty. Give these young adventurers a hundred golds. Because apparently instead of saying gold, they put goals. And a world map. So the gesture gives us a world map and money. King says, Then spread the word all around the kingdom. Let the people know that four heroes are about to achieve great deeds. They are now allowed to gather anything they want from each and every house, but they still have to pay for their own equipment. And for the love of destiny, give them some clothes. They are still naked. A gesture says, Yes, your majesty. Oh, Nigel gets an idea. Dark Adios. Adios. And a bottle of lightning strikes a guard. Johnny, holy frying shit. Mike, did you see that? It was so cool. 
Nigel, freaking awesome. So, oh, it didn't even let me finish. So he says it again and strikes the guard again. King, stop it. That name cannot be pronounced. Now leave. Save my daughter and fulfill your destiny. Francis, fulfill, for, fulfill the emperor? <laughs> no, your fate, karma, whatever. Now be gone. <laughs> Mike, that lightning was so rad. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, come fulfill me. I am destiny. Johnny. Come to my bedroom. <laughs> I command you to. Okay. I need to be fulfilled. Now, did you notice how they actually made a joke on how they always use a female maiden to do those stupid things in the beginning? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. But they're like making like a shit ton of like references and memes and stuff like that. It is so funny. <laughs> uh, Johnny, well that was fun. Nigel, who would have thought you utter a name and BAM! Lightning strikes! Mike, and they gave us these nice clothes too. Johnny, now that you mention it, isn't it weird? We lost our clothes, but not the those items we found in the lava flooded room. Nigel. I'm still not at ease with what they gave me. I'd rather wear something fancier. At least it's blue. Mike, question. Where are we? What is this place? Which Johnny. one's the pink ranger? Uh, it's blue, yellow, green, and red. Okay, but so the missing the missing GM dude is the pink ranger. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, Johnny, it's too well done to be a Benjamin scenery. scenery. Francis, do you really think this is all scenery? What do you think this castle is made of? Cardboard? Made out of cookies. Mike, chill. Uh, Mike says, well, so tell us, what do you think has happened? Francis, I have no idea. Maybe some kind of parallel dimension. A fantasy world with magic, princesses, monsters, and fantasy. I don't know. Nigel, whoa! A parallel dimension! That's more than awesome! It's giga awesome! A billion times awesomer! Mike, but is that- but is it possible? Francis, I have no clue, but we are here, and we have to deal with it. Nigel, so what do we do now? Are we going to save the princess? Johnny, yeah, so they might give us a reward. Maybe a magic item. Francis, or tell us how to go home. Let's take a look around. Maybe we can find a way back. Okay, let's do it, says Nigel. And Mike. Uh, Mike says, and maybe we may find Benjamin. Johnny, as a game master, he'd love this place. Hey, my bot poofed. What the fuck? So, Nigel has now learned the spell Dark Eat Us. 